Hi, so when we try to log in into our SQL Server table, there are different reasons why we get a uh, SQL Server login errors. So uh, like this is my SQL Server tool and uh, we can see that this authentication. So there are basically two types of authentication in SQL Server tool. One is Windows authentication and second is SQL Server authentication and together we call it as a mixed mode authentication. So whenever we uh, try to log in into this, there are situations that we get some errors uh, when we are trying to log in into our SQL Server tool. So there are different reasons for that. I'll show you those reasons. So why it happens. So uh, we can see that uh, in first scenario that uh, you're trying to log in into your SQL Server tool through that uh, SQL Server authentication but that server accepts only the Windows authentication. Second scenario may be that you're trying to connect to the uh, tool using the SQL Server authentication, but the login user does not exist or might be reason that uh, the user is there, but uh, account is disabled on that tool. Third scenario may be that you're using Windows authentication, but it says that it is from the untrusted domain. So we will see that how we can resolve all these different type of errors on our tool. So as you can see, this is our SQL Server tool. And here, this SA user is already created on my system. So if I'm trying to log in into this, let's click on connect. So can you see that I'm getting this error 18456 and it is saying that login field for user SA. So for this error, so the reason would be that during installation of the SQL Server tool, we would not have chosen this mixed mode authentication that is Windows and SQL Server both. So to enable that, we will go to our Windows authentication and connect. We'll go to, uh, we'll click, right click on this. We'll go to properties and go to security. And there are two types of authentication mode. One is Windows authentication mode and the SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. So we have to click on this and click on OK. So this is saying that some of your configuration changes will not take effect until SQL Server is restarted. So we have to restart the service so that these changes are applied to our setting. So to do that, we'll go to services and we'll look for the SQL Server Express and we have to restart the service. So there is this option. We'll click on it. And it's done. So we will check if we are able to log in into this or not. So go to connect and go to SQL Server authentication. Now let's try to check. So yeah, we are able to connect to our SQL Server authentication. And now we will see another error that we get when we try to log in into our SQL Server tool. So when I click on this, we are getting this error that login failed for user SA. And it is saying that account is disabled and the error is 18470. To resolve this, we have to go to again Windows authentication, click on connect, go to security and into logins. And we see that on our this login user, there is this cross mark. So this denotes that it is not connected to SA. So to uh, enable it, we'll click right click on it. 
and we'll go to properties and go to status and we see that our login is disabled so we have to enable it we'll click on enabled and click on okay okay now let's try to refresh it so as you can see that red mark is gone let's try to log in into our sql server and let's click on connect so as you can see we are able to connect to this sa user and there is one more error that we get when when we try to log into our sql server tool so this error is 18452 and it says that user is not associated with a trusted sql server connection so in that case also we'll try to uh, do the authentication mode settings and we'll click on sql server and windows authentication and that that might resolve your issue so these were the three errors that we generally get when we try to log in into our sql server tool